Building spreadsheets with text is a common occurrence, which means we are constantly sizing and resizing. One of my most popular blog posts is about having Excel expand the cells while we type. So the first thing I'm going to do is select these cells. And there's a couple of different ways to get to format cells, but I'm going to right click and go to format cells. Move this over a little bit. I'm going to select distributed and distributed from both the horizontal and vertical. And then I'll click OK. And then now I'm ready to start typing. So I'll type this will expand as I type more text in the cell and save me some time. It's justified, which is why you have that big gap there. It's no big deal. You can just click on that and left align it. All right, so let's see. You can see it. Post tips and tricks on blog. Promise to post more videos if people like and share this. Never stop learning. Message me for the file. Tell people they can watch more of my content on LinkedIn Learning. Just free if you're a premium member. All right, I'm going to go left align that just because I like that better. And notice it's it's going to be based on the size of the text that's in here. Okay, now I'm also a big believer in providing drop-down lists, which is one of my most popular YouTube videos. So I've highlighted these cells, and I'm going to go to Data, Data Validation. I'm going to tell it to allow a list, and the source of my list is right here. Completed and processed, not applicable, and stopped. And then I'll click OK. And then now I have my drop downs. OK, now one last thing conditional formatting. I really want these to change colors based on the words so that I kind of get an idea of how many of my tasks are completed. So conditional formatting is one of the easiest ways to do that. Now, first of all, I've already done a couple of these, but I wanted to save one, which is the completed one, to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go to conditional formatting. I'm going to go to highlight cell rules. I'm going to choose text that contains. If it says the word completed, I want it to be green fill and green text. Of course, if I don't like that, I can go choose custom format and make it whatever I'd like. And then I'll click OK. Awesome. So posting tips and tricks, something I do that's in process. Um, promise more videos. I've completed that task. Never stop learning. I'm always in the process of learning. Uh, message me for the file. I hope some of you are already considering this, so I'm going to say in process. And then tell people to watch more of my content. You can also follow me at Think Robin Hunt on Twitter. And now, guess what? We're completed.